the black areas. So today I'll be doing my readings with all my gypsy, my ancestors resting. Hope everybody's doing good. Remember areas I could be picking up on you, the cross watcher, a third party, or someone in your surroundings. So you could either reverse the roles if you want to, take it, leave it, it doesn't matter. And press those thumbs up, down, sideways, however you want to do it, okay? So let's see what's going on with areas here. I'm going to crown your energy first. I'm going to see your energy, what might be interrupting or bothering the energy, if there's any, and the outcome, okay? So let's see. That's too many. Mejitana. Emeralda. What is Aries? Yeah. She took out two. Now, this is in reverse. So, very soon here, it says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. New. Okay? So, I mean, now. There might be somebody coming your way. This came out on the fence. Okay? It's a soulmate. Give yourself. Listen. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. It came out on the fence. Almost in reverse. So I feel like somebody's trying here or tried a lot. I feel like there's a lot of love here, to be honest with you. There's a lot of love here. But somebody's trying to make a decision either to leave or go. And I feel more like it's somebody loves somebody but it's time to go and i feel like if this didn't happen already it's gonna happen soon that somebody's either confused here to make a decision about leaving or going but it's kind of hurting them inside but i feel also like somebody's here is hiding their emotions the way they feel about somebody somebody here might be in love with somebody and they don't even say it they like type of like push it away or maybe like don't want to admit it in somewhere somehow i'm picking up something here with somebody here in love with a person and can't quite commit or they're lying and they're saying they don't love you but they do love you but you 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 gotta decide you know areas whatever it is that you want love you don't want no love you just want to hang out with a person you just want to have a, a friends with benefits or whatever it is you need to decide what you want clearly because you can't be always like you know giving 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 your emotions and then boom your emotions get shut down for no reason or it could be this other person it's take how it hits you but there's somebody coming in here very soon to your energy why you might have someone or you just broke up with someone and you don't know what to do and you're confused somebody's coming into your energy here so you gotta make clear decisions for moving forward because somebody might just swipe you off your feet and you might just have feelings for somebody else is what I'm picking up here. But when before I opened, um, <clears throat> before I opened areas, I was walking in from outside because I usually meditate outside. I do my things outside and then I walk in. I opened the door. When you open, you know, when I opened the door of my front door, I could see straight to my bathroom. The door was open, which I never used to leave it open. And I saw a guy that in progress. He is not here. He is gone. Uh, he was wearing a white shirt. He has like my color of skin. My color of skin looks a little bit lighter on camera. It's like a tan. Um, all I saw was a white shirt. I couldn't see the hair too much. It could have been brown. It could have been something like that, but I couldn't see it that much. Um, I went back outside and I meditated and I feel like this person, they told me friend. So it might be a friend that you lost. It might be a friend of somebody. It might be, you know, of course, somebody's son, you know, somebody's father whatever it is but <clears throat> i feel like they're trying to come across to a friend you might have seen this person might have seen it through your side i might be seeing things in your house or even hearing noises or things that are moving around and you can't find this and it's over there or it moved you know and you don't know what the hell happened he's trying to communicate with somebody here okay it could be a son it could be you know anything of that sort you know, of course, but I feel like he's looking more like to a friend. He's trying to reach out to a friend that's maybe a brother, a sister was really close to him, but clearly this person is trying to reach out to a friend is a mess that I heard outside. So somebody here lost somebody, my condolences, but like for that spirit because he was very, very when I saw him, it was like seeing you and me. And I love when I see them like that because it means, you know, they're in some sort of place where it's like a five degree spirit. And I would have to do a whole video on a five degree spirit and first degree and all that because a lot of psychics out here, I don't know. 
I'm not going to say nothing. But it's a five degree spirit, meaning it could move things. It could touch things. It could even touch you. It could, you know, get mad and throw something. Five degree spirits do things like that. And it doesn't always mean that they're bad spirits, okay? So somebody's trying to communicate here, try to meditate, try to ask for signs. You know, whoever it is, it doesn't matter. Light in progress for the spirit, and thank you for coming in. I also had um, felt when I was outside meditating and trying to see if that spirit will come through more and tell me more things, I felt like um, I wanted to throw up. I felt like nauseous. I felt like my stomach. There was a problem with my stomach, so it could be anything, a stomach problem. that They get shot in the stomach. They got stabbed in the stomach. Uh, there was an issue with the stomach, or they were going through something where they couldn't eat, and their stomach was, like, feeling bad at the moment. It could be anything. It doesn't always have to mean that there's a problem with the stomach, okay? It could be something that happened in the brain, and it attacked the stomach or the nervous system. So this person, you know, wanted to show himself. He showed himself outside, too. I think he was wearing, um, I don't remember, it was gray pants or dark pants. I know it was between gray and blue. It was not black. So, if anybody lost somebody here, um, if you want to commu communicate with them, yes, I am a medium. Yes, you can reach out to me, but do your own, like, um, meditation on this. Because I feel like they want to come through to say something, and I don't know what it is. And I feel like <sighs> there's something they need to say. Okay, so let's start the reading. I'm going to, I already crowned it. I'm going to start the reading. And here we go, Aries, to see what's up. So, let's see. Let's see what's going on with Aries. I just heard pills. Oh my God. So I don't know if this person passed away by drinking pills and overdose or something like that. But um, they want to come through very strongly to somebody here. A friend is what I'm hearing the most. And it could be a parent that wasn't very close, you know, to this person. Like a friend type of thing. Okay, so just take it how it resonates to you. Let's see, Mihidana. What is Aries? What is Aries' energy right now? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Admirada. What else? My bad. <laughs> she likes the bangles. And so do I. Let me see what I'm going to pop out here. Okay, yeah. So somebody is thinking of that. Let me see. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> there's a romance coming in here but somebody here is very like guarded up and thinking about it it's there's a romance coming in here i cannot make shit up somebody here is in love with you or madly in love with you and they don't tell you it's like what i'm picking up it's like a person that will not you know say shit a person that you know, it is. i'm not feeling no emotions i'm just feeling a person that when it comes to emotional things they don't let things out. It's like they'd rather ha act hardcore and they'd rather be silent and keep it to themselves and keep secrets to themselves and not say shit is what I'm picking up for this person. It doesn't mean it's for every areas, but I'm picking up strongly on this person that they don't want to speak up. It's like they're hardcore. It's like, you know, they're in hermit mode. But I feel like areas, so are you. Like, someone needs to... um. Somebody needs to, like, you know, make the first move here because there's a lot of silence here, a lot of secrecy. Like, maybe you heard it from somebody. Maybe somebody told you something. Maybe intuitively you know this person has something to offer you or you want to offer something to this person. You might have had something with this person. You feel me in the past. And you've you've been alone for a while or maybe tried to date or whatever, but this person is still in love with you. It's like... You're doing yourself right now. I feel like you're doing yourself. I feel like you're concentrating more on yourself. But I feel like areas you think about somebody here a lot. And I feel like people are not talking here. I feel like it's a ghosting, silent situation here going on with this person. You know, there is a lot of um, things that are going to come out here to the light. There is a lot of things that are going to be said here and done. But somebody here is holding back very much. It's like... Somebody at some point with this person or a person you're dealing with now is like you had no words in your fucking mouth to even back up. And somebody said here something. I don't know if it was you, Arius, or another person, but I believe it could be Arius that said something really harsh to a person here. I mean, you made them sit down and motherfucking think. It's like you made this person sit the fuck down and they're thinking about this. I don't know what's going on here, but Arius, your mouth is sharp is what I heard right now. Mihidana, what else? 
she goes very fast so uh, sometimes i can't catch up with her so you know yeah somebody here listen somebody here removed a lot of shit you know somebody here has removed a lot of people you know thinking about removing others that you still haven't removed from your life but somebody here spends a lot of time on their own thinking and what they could do and i feel like somebody here look look at the bottom of the deck there's somebody broken hearted here for somebody somebody that's thinking about somebody somebody that no matter what they do, no matter what they try, no matter who they date, no matter if 20 years pass by, this person, you know, has something in their heart for you. It's like they can't let you go. Even if you never go back with this person or, you know, they don't come back to you, it's like there's a there's a person here that will not stop loving you. It's like, hey, I believe you won't stop loving them, but let's see. There's a person here that wants to remove... Um, some people out of their way and it's like you're not sugarcoating your mouth. Is he gonna say what you wanna say? You don't give a fuck how it comes out, how they take it, how it hits them, how it hurts them. I'm feeling like Arius, you don't give a damn here. Somebody here doesn't give a fuck when it comes to their words. And I feel like at some moments you're in silence, you don't say nothing, but boom, when you open that mouth, you fuck shit up. And I like that because I do that. Yeah, you've been doing yourself. You've been meditating on yourself. It's like a lot of thinking here, a lot of meditation, a lot of like, you know, what am I going to do next? What do I do? There's a lot of confusion here when it comes to somebody, you know, abundance, you know, the ten of pentacles is in the bottom of the deck, you know. I feel like you are going to come great to abundance. She's telling me in the bag and she's telling me with this cute little smile, like, you know, money is going to come in. I feel something here with a bank account. I don't know why there's something going on here with a bank account. And this has nothing to do with none of the cards here or what I'm saying, but I'm channeling. It's like, she's telling me something about a bank account. Be careful with your bank account or there's a bank account issue and they're giving you problems. You need to press on that because it's going to be an issue here for somebody. It's like you're doing yourself. It's like you're minding your own business and trying to remove even thoughts out of your head and people that you say what's up every once in a while when they come into your energy that came across um like people that constantly or come in or you know every once in a while you think about them or they ask about you it's like you don't want to know about anybody you just want to do yourself listen somebody here has a lot of intuition so you might be picking up on things about this person and you haven't told nobody you're ready to hear it and that's why you're here but i'm telling you somebody here is madly in love with you somebody here is ready you know i feel like your spiritual guides, your ancestors, whatever you've asked for, whatever it is that you have tried to like move yourself to, whether it's a job, a new home, you know, remove yourself from family members, you know, start a new life, whatever it is, it's like they've been giving you signs. And I believe this past loved one that just came in before I opened Aries is one of them. They've been giving you signs to move forward. Do not wait anymore. You're intuitive. You know what you want. You pick up things. You know, inside of you, you know what you want. You know what to do. But sometimes, you know, the ego can get in the way with some of us. You feel me? And I see a lot of ego here. A lot of like, you know, it's going to be my way. I don't give a fuck what nobody says. A lot of silence here. But when you open your mouth, it's like somebody here. Okay, this came out of the fence. Could be jumping into something new. And it's just thinking about it. And you don't know what to do because you still love somebody else. It's like somebody here is missing somebody somebody here is sad somebody here has a little bit of depression i'm picking up but moving forward it's like i feel like you're gonna be good but it's just a confusion of like yeah look it wanted to pop out but it didn't it's like it's like you're looking it's like you're wondering you know if i move on am i gonna miss an opportunity so if i move on i'm gonna lose this person will i ever see this person again i don't give a fuck what this person did to you or what will happen with this person what fallout you had there is people that you know you have fallouts with them but you still love them you cannot control your heart and i feel like you've been waiting for this either for this person to tell you or you've been waiting to see if you jump over to something else and just leave it all behind you. And it's like you've done a lot of, like, thinking here. It's like overthinking it. And I feel like the bond has to come together in some way or some form. It's like you're telling me somebody here needs to, like, form a bond with a person here. There's been arguments. There's been, yeah, there's been problems. But I feel like somebody here, she's telling me, you don't 
it's like somebody here didn't have a connection with this person when it comes to like emotions or a relationship or something like that. Somebody's flirting here a lot. You, they might be giving you the little flirting thing, the little eye look, the little wink, or just that look. You know that you see somebody when they, you know, when they're interested is what I'm picking up here. Somebody here, you know, has done a lot of resting, but somebody here is very hurt inside. It's like somebody here wants to move forward, but they're very hurt. It's like you want to move forward, but it's like you're scared of all these old things that happened to you. All these motherfuckers that have come through, whatever it is. People, lying, friends, family members, whatever it is. And here's in the bottom of the deck again. A lot of pain inside somebody here. I feel like somebody feels lonely for the most part. I don't feel, you know, I feel, yes, there's a lot of pain here from the past. I feel like somebody was left alone at some point, didn't know what to do. I feel like somebody ghosted at some point, you know, for just dumb reasons when somebody tried to fix it, whether it was you or the other person. But I feel like emotionally inside, you carry a lot of pain. And I feel like somebody here, you know, makes a lot of jokes or like entertains and things like that or tries to make new friends but it's not like a friendly type of shit like you walk up to a person like that it's like you hide your feelings through laughter through jokes or through even just associating on social media is what i'm picking up here you could be dating here oh my god I just felt a sharp pain stab me in the back really, really hard. I don't know what that means for you guys. I see a gate of some sort or a building that has a building next to it that is very close that when you walk out, you could just jump over and go to the next building. I don't know why that's coming up. Maybe it could be with this past loved one. I don't know what's going on. They jumped over. Or something. Somebody was running. I don't know. I feel like somebody put somebody in something. Somebody put something in somebody's drink. And. People have been wondering. What happened to a person here. Might that be a past loved one that I seen in my bathroom. Or another past loved one. But somebody put somebody's. Um, something. Oh my god. In somebody's drink here. Somebody was wearing red. Or this person's favorite color was red. I don't know. I feel like it's something that I don't want to say here. But you could be dealing here with an Aries, a uh, Sagittarius, a Leo. Um, another Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Any water sign. Um, Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Let me see. I'm trying to cut down a little bit of what I see here. Not because of anybody, because I don't really give a fuck. It's just because I get drained, you know, when I channel a lot. And, you know, my ancestors, even my gypsy, they're all my ancestors. They show me a lot of crazy shit, like all the dirt and all the crazy stuff, even dead people. And it's like, it needs to be heard, you feel me? But this week I'm trying to go a little bit low and slow. And trying to die it down a little bit. And it's still bothering me. It's like I'm seeing this. But let's see. That's the first card that I wanted to fly out. Mejitana. I'm going to leave it there. What is um bothering me here? <laughs> Listen, Aries. You know, I feel like somebody here made you unhappy. When it came to commitment. Somebody that didn't bring peace to your home. Somebody that flipped your world upside down when it came to your home. Somebody that made your home, you know, instead of a warm place, instead of a place where you can come and be warm and chill and, you know, vibe and put music and, like, be lovable. It's like they made your, your home a living hell. And I feel like you were either committed with this person for a long time or married with this person. But I see somebody coming in here that wants to offer something here with the Queen of Cups. A lot of, you have a lot of love to give. It's like you're yearning to spend time. And it's not even about sex. It could be for some of you. <clears throat> because if you don't have sex, good sex. If, you know, sex ain't good in a relationship. Trust me, it's not going to work. 
And I'm not saying it because sex is everything, but sex is a big part of a relationship. You don't have the chemistry. If you don't like the person in the bedroom, it's not going to work. But I feel like somebody wants to come in here, but you've been yearning. Like, I don't even know what I was saying. But I feel like you're wanting to be with somebody. And I feel like it's more like, um, you know, be with somebody like, partnership like let's live our lives together let's travel let's do things let's be spontaneous you know let's have a home where it's not full of chaos and drama but i feel like somebody here is going to come out and step out to the light and tell you something that they already did and it's like you kind of like i'm in shock or i knew it or what the fuck and it's like you don't know what to do now look at this i cannot make this shit up and i'm liking it every it's like she's over here like yeah mm. I don't know why I'm picking up a Taurus so strongly here. And I'm not even reading the signs right now, but there's a Taurus here that got their eye on you, Aries. Yeah, there's a Taurus here on Tauro. Like, there's a lot of love here between two people. And I feel like if you meet somebody here or they're coming your way, I feel like you're fighting your emotions. I feel like you're fighting, you know, that wanting to commit because things went wrong in the past for you. And I feel like this person's going to come through <laughs> with a lot of passion, a lot of, like... I want you, whether it's female or male. I want you, and I'm going to have you. They're going to open up, but this person has their little side of them, okay? So be careful. They have their little flirting side. They have their little, you know, <clears throat> let's kick it with this person this day and this person. But they might be single, and that's okay to do when you're single. You date, you meet people, you find people. Somebody here is going to be with somebody here. There's also a person here that left your energy, man, that... They're going through it. Listen, I cannot make this shit up. I haven't even... I shuffled it, and it was already coming to me. Like, I feel like there's a person here that... Um, you know, there was a person that was not a person that knew how to negotiate or bring money to the table. And even if they did, it was like they would spend money on crazy other shit. Besides you, it was like they were giving to others, their friends. You know, they had drinking issues. They had, like, issues. I feel like this person right now is going through it. I feel like your guys and your ancestors, you know, and the things that follow you and that surround you is making it difficult for this person, you know, when it comes to money. It's making it difficult. I feel like somebody here in the past or in the current, because I'm doing current, it's like somebody here. Yeah, somebody here walked away and they walked away with somebody else. And they made your, your home, like, chaos. If you had kids, like, everybody found out in the home, and it was very disturbing. There's a divorce going on here. Don't do nothing crazy while you're doing, going through a divorce here if you are, because they might try to, like, want to bring things out on you. And, yeah. You know, this person... Hides your true emotions from everything, whoever it is that I'm picking up here. I feel like at some point this person was sneaking around and stalking you and going to your house or whatever the case may be. But it's like you stopped that or somebody stopped that. I feel like they have nowhere to go. I feel like they have nowhere to move. I feel like they have no ability to like come through and bother you because I feel like they I feel like they're going through it. They're going through it really bad. They're going through it with money. I feel like there's people have turned their backs on them. I feel like if they have kids, their kids is like, uh, you know what? I don't want to talk to that. I don't want to talk to mom. Or when they are around their parents, they feel like this this discomfort. But it's like somebody here has some type of trauma from the past when you were a child that you cannot remember. That's a fact. She's telling me very clearly, no se recuerdan. Pasa mucho y no se recuerdan. Like somebody here goes through a lot when it comes to certain situations. And you don't know what it is. And it's things that happen to you as a child that you don't remember. I feel like this person, whoever it was from the past, from childhood, is already dead. They're not even alive anymore. Somebody walked away here. Or somebody's going to walk away here. And do themselves. And find what your purpose is here or whatever it is. Somebody's going to walk away here from a commitment because something is stirring your emotions up. You're loving yourself more. It's like you see yourself more like I deserve more. I'm not going to fight no more. You know, when it comes to me, what I deserve, what I want, what my emotions need. You know, I'm going to fight for what I want. And any motherfucker that gets in my way is going to be left out.
and I'm a ghost them is what I'm picking up here. You could be dealing here with a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Aries. I can't see a damn thing. Capricorn, Leo. Aries again. A lot of water here. Cancer, Scorpio, um... Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio again. Capricorn, Taurus, Gemini. Let me see. Somebody's most definitely walking away here from all the bullshit and all the conniving ass people. Keep going. Because it's like I feel like you're tired. But I like this little love um, thing going on here. You feel me? Like, it's always good to love somebody. It's always good to have somebody next to you. You know... It's so it's nice. That's all I'm going to say. But let's see. What's the outcome here? Me, Donna, what is the outcome here for Aries moving forward? Whoa, that's a lot. Look at this. That's a lot. There's a lot to say here, but a lot that hasn't been said. Somebody here is holding their emotions very tight to their chest and they need to open up whether it's you or somebody else. Because it could be something good that happens. The world card is here. Listen. Somebody here is waiting for something and I feel like you're going to move forward but it's like you're waiting. It's like you're drained. It's like I feel like you're tired. I feel like whatever is coming your way right now, it might hit an impact in your life where you're going to get super drained. You're going to get tired. Your energy is going to go down. Somebody here is trying to like stop your movement. And I feel like... Oh my God. Six or... Oh my God. I don't know if six is... um, If six is something significant for you. If you have six sisters or brothers. Or this person has six family members. That have been involved in a lot of chaos in your life. You know. It's like you're very exhausted here. Areas. Because I feel like, you know, not only the emotional part, whatever is going on in your life with the traumas, whatever it is, say you don't remember, whatever it is, it's like you want to get somewhere and you want to do it fast and you are going to do it. It's like you're sitting there waiting for things to come in. You know, things are going to start coming in. You need to like give everything that you do not, everything that doesn't serve you, everything that's bothering you, everything that's in your energy that makes drains you or make you feel in some type of way. Give it to the fucking universe. Like, you know, yeah, and it's, I can't talk like that. Anybody could talk like that. Go outside and give it to the universe. You know, it's like the Ten of Wands in reverse. I mean, not the Ten of Wands. Well, maybe somebody here is struggling and they're going to get themselves out of those all those struggles and all that, those burdens, and you're working on it, and boom, there it is. Like, you're going to feel better. Like, I'm not going to say that everybody has to feel really, really good on a daily basis because it's never going to happen to anybody. Whoever here tells me or anybody, any reader, anybody that I see that everything is good and, you know, you, you're going to feel good and you're going to feel awesome and you're going to feel great and, oh, my God, and everything's going to be so good and dandy. No, that does not happen happen for anybody not even my damn self not even for uh, you know i'm just not gonna say what i was gonna say because damn she's going in but you know it's like it's like you're tired of people coming at you and i gonna you're not gonna let shots come at you no more it's like you're ready to start a new beginning here whether it's by yourself or with somebody it's like you standing like a king and a queen here waiting for somebody or something to happen here and you're not gonna stop somebody here wants to stop you or stop you in the past from doing whatever you wanted it's like the five of swords the six of swords and the five of swords here you ain't putting up with the bullshit anymore it's like you know too many people backstabbing hypocrisy talking shit the gossip you know the hating the envy for no fucking damn reason why it happens every motherfucking day people so don't be surprised you feel me? Like it happens every motherfucking day. There's somebody here you can't trust. They're going to try to go against you here in something. And it could be a person that's working spells. Okay? Somebody here could be working spells to go against you for you not to move forward. You have to, like, you know, be very careful with people surrounding you or people coming back to say what's up or anything. It could be online, people. Like, voodoo spells and voodoo and hexes and everything 
could be done from here. I'm in Miami. I could do a spell right now from somebody, let's just say, in the Netherlands. That's very far away on the other side of the world. I could do it right now, right here. And M is coming to my head for some reason. So I don't know what that means with that M. But it might resonate to somebody. But if y'all think that voodoo and spells can't be done from distances, it's done. But somebody here is trying to work something. Uh, I feel like somebody here is jealous. But you're moving passionately. You don't give three fucks. It's like you're sitting there in a throne, a king, a queen, waiting for that world to come for the universe to give you what you desire. And you're going to get it because you ain't stopping. It's like you're meditating on this. It's like you're asking for this. It's like you've already asked for it so much that it's coming. Three of Cups. Celebration, new people coming into your life, you know, positive people, people that might help you in certain areas in your life that you need help with. And it doesn't mean that they're going to come in, okay, you know, I need your help. No, there's certain people and friends that give you advice that you sit down with that you see it, but then when they explain it to you, it's like, damn, I thought about it, but now that you're saying it, you know, I know what the fuck is up, if you understand me. But you're coming out here as the Ace of Wands. Very passionate moving forward. Not giving a fuck about anybody here. It doesn't matter who it is. It's like you're going to go for yours and nobody's going to stop you here. Damn Aries. What's up? I like this Aries. Let me see. What else here for Aries Mihidana? Mihidana. You see what I'm saying? It's on the fence. I cannot make shit up. The Ten of Swords. Somebody here is very drained. When it comes to their energy. Somebody here. It came out on the fence. So it means you're getting out of this. Or there's a situation here that's bothering you. And you want to get to it really fast. You need to have patience here. Because you're not going to stop for nobody. To get what you want. Whatever it is. Job related. You know. In general. Whatever it is. A love. A partner. Whatever it is. Abundance. You're not going to stop. You're going to get it. And it's right under the world. New beginnings for you. And a lot of th good things to come. Okay? She's saying don't worry. A lot of you have been waiting for a long time. It's going to come through. But you need to get yourself out of this energy. Where sometimes you go into depression. Sometimes it's like. I feel like you need to smoke. Or have a couple of drinks. To get out of depression. That's not going to stop depression. That's not going to stop your racing thoughts. That's not going to stop anxiety. It's only going to make you feel good for a couple of minutes or a couple of hours. And that's it. When you come back, you're going to feel the same. Yeah, you could party. But it's not going to stop anything. Somebody here is thinking too much. Like, you're trying to build for yourself. I don't care what age you are. You could be 20, 90, 100. I don't care. Somebody here deserves to be loved, and you're going to get it. And somebody here deserves a good life. Because I see a lot of things that were done in here as a child and people that came through to your life and did a lot of things in the back scenes the moon came out came out the moon came out came out really bro like the moon card came out you know you've found out a lot of things here you know probably through your family or things you know through people you've encountered with friends you know it could be a person you were with it could be your partner that has made you like you know get into an energy like i don't give a fuck about anybody anymore it's like i'm drained it's like i've been stabbed in the back so many times but nothing is going to motherfucking stop me from moving forward i feel there's a lot of silence here with somebody the queen of pentacles in the bottom of the deck keep moving there's a lot of things that are gonna show to the light secrets hidden things you know things that you need to know but it's gonna be good for you because it's gonna make you move forward and find what you need to find for yourself okay whoever here is going through a lot of like um they stabbed me in the back they did me wrong they did this they did that listen you need to lift up your energy because all day if i would stay here i would tell you like more than a million people have gone and stabbed me in the motherfucking back it's like you're a little bit right now when it comes to money or anything it's like you're disbalanced a little bit. Be careful with the authorities coming through here. Because there's a knight of wands here. That's going to come in very sneaky. And it might be somebody that's jealous and envious of you. Probably a person that your ex or your person's dealing with. Or somebody that they were dealing with. That's trying to bring something here to the table. That is not motherfucking good. So be careful with the police coming through here. But I feel like. This person here. 
that did you wrong that left you in a state of mind or that might come in and try to like do something to you they're gonna get it i mean they're gonna get theirs they're gonna do things but it's like, it's a person that doesn't give a fuck. It's a person that will look in you in your face and smile. It's a person that provokes you. It's a person that when they do something, they'll say, okay, I did it and what? You feel me? It's a person that, it's not like me. Like, I'll say, okay, yeah, I told you this and what? It's a person that has evil intentions. A person that doesn't like to see people happy. I feel like it's a person that was dating with a person you were with. Look at the King of Cups in the bottom of the deck. I didn't even see it. It's a person that might have been dealing, you know, with your girl, with your man. You know, something that happened where you found out about this. And it put you in a great depression here. A lot of imbalancement in your life when this happened. But a lot of things came out and you're moving forward. The world card is here. Yeah, there's a lot of disbalance here. A lot of things that are happening when it comes to money-wise and things like that. But there is somebody here that's going to cause something here. Or you might be going through a divorce. I have to go to court with a person here. Be careful with the motherfucking person that's dealing with your person. Because they're feeding them a lot of shit in the head. And they might be doing spells here. But this person, I don't give a fuck what nobody says. They still love you. And somebody's coming your way is going to give you a good life. What you deserve and what you need. Okay? So let's see. You could be dealing here and with um my bad commitment for the bottom of the deck i cannot make shit up somebody's here scared to commit or is it's just thinking about it and you just don't know how to do it but it's okay because a lot of us get in that energy sometimes very good on the other side of the deck which i have to flip it um i was gonna say something now and i forgot you could be dealing here with a gemini with an aries Scorpio, um, Leo, Aries, Leo Sagittarius again, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, you might have Aries in your chart, you're dealing with a strong Aries that is very stubborn here, um, I don't know why I said that, that's what she said, um, another Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, damn, there's a lot of fire here, Pisces, and of course, Libra. There could be a Libra that's going against you and doesn't give three fucks. Let me see here. Be careful with moving forward with um, whoever you bring into your energy. It could be friends. It could be family. But I feel like somebody here is trying to stop you from moving. But you don't give a fuck. You're going to move. However you're moving, you don't give three fucks. And your blessings are coming in no matter what. But there's a disturbance here. Let me see. What else does Aries need to hear? Hey, Donna. What else? Anything else? Okay. Let me see from this deck. Is there anything I receive to hear? That's it. She said, you cannot trust me. Somebody who cannot be trusted. And this could be a friend, a family member. It could be anybody. Look in the other bottom of the deck. Of the other one. I didn't see it. Five, five, five. Okay, 5555. 55. So go look for that angel number, the spiritual number, every meaning that number has. Okay, there's gonna be something that's story there for you. It might be a past someone that's trying to reach out. But fives is all about movement, you know, things coming in. So look up that. Um, I, I'm, I hate to say it, but I feel like I say look at the angel numbers, look at the spiritual numbers to every sign, and nobody looks it up. You need to really look into that. Because there's certain things that present themselves. It could be animals. It could be birds. It could be, you know, a sign. It could be a synchronicity. Anything that's trying to get you to read that. Because you need to read it because you need to know what's going through your life and what you need to fix. So please go look into those numbers. Tell people who you really are. Everything is not me. Your colors will come out. So at some point, you or somebody said to somebody, like, blaming somebody when they got all motherfucking type of colors that don't even exist in this motherfucking world, colors that we don't even know about, that they got, or, you know, something that's going on here, and somebody wants to, like, blame you for everything, but they don't see their own fucking fuckery. You feel me? Like, this motherfucker has so many colors. Like, I can't even blend colors to see the colors that I'm seeing on this motherfucker right here. 
and I feel like it's a, I, feel, I was going to say bitch. Like, my, 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 um, gypsy is, I love her. Esmeralda, tú eres candela. Like, yeah, there's a bitch here that's causing a problem, and it's a female, because she just called her a bitch. It is not a nigga. I'm telling you, it's a girl. She might be a, Le she might be, I don't know why I said Leo first. She might be a Leo, but it might be a fire sign. Someone is going to get advice from a psychic working on you. I cannot make this shit up. Somebody here is trying to stop your movement. Whatever it is, your abundance, the way that you want to move forward. And it could be stopping a love that's coming in or somebody that's trying to get to somewhere. If you feel like things are stopping, if you don't know what's happening, if, um, you know, because there's a lot of psychics out here like me that work. Yeah, they'll give you a reading. But they don't tell you what's happening. Like, they don't tell you the bad stuff. They only tell you the good stuff. They don't tell you, okay, you have spells. You have this. And if they do tell you you have spells or anything, they don't know how to remove them. They don't remove them. They're just psychics. You know, I'm a different psychic. I have a lot of abilities, a lot of gifts, a lot of initiations. You know my religion. I'm capable of moving anything that comes across the way, even death. I've done it so many people. It's ridiculous. Um, full dominant control likes using force sexually or fetishes like it or not. I'm sorry. <clears throat> but my um, gypsy's going at it. Like, whoever here likes it kinky, like, keep it going. Like, because I like it kinky. But, listen, somebody has full dominant control using force in the bedroom. You like to be, you know, the one that causes shots, the dominant one. It could be this person. Sexual fetishes. Like, you know, everything goes. Like it or not. You know, it's coming out. Whether it's you, Arius, or the other person, but... Ain't no, ain't no shame in the game. I mean, there's some people that don't like it. They don't roll that way. And it's just like the same thing over and over again, which I'm not going to say nothing about that. But you need to be um, spontaneous, people, and get it together, okay? Sexual appetite, seductive, destructive, unrepentant, Jezebel spirit. Somebody here. And I feel like it's a person that you were dealing with. You know, it, when it comes to sexual appetites, it's like they went out and like were with many people at the same time it's like a, a, a sexual appetite they cannot control it could be a Jezebel spirit it just came out with this card right here laying laying down just laying the motherfucking down like i don't know why like she is so excited today like it could be a Jezebel spirit but to be honest with you Jezebel spirits come in a form where you will know there's a Jezebel spirit in that person's energy, I feel like they're just destructive. I just feel like they like sleeping around, and that's just who they are. It's like a player type of energy that I'm picking up here. And they're seductive and destructive, unrepentant. They don't give a fuck. If you catch them cheating or you did in the past, it's like they don't never admit it. It's like they will blame it on other shit instead of themselves, which makes no damn sense. I love you. Do you still love me? I cannot make this shit up. Somebody loves you. Somebody's in love with you here, Arias. And I feel like you know this person. They're wondering if you still love them. And I know, I know for a fact, there's some feelings inside of you, Arias. For some of you, not for every one of you. So don't take it. If it's not your story, leave it behind. If it's not yours, if anything is not yours, go check your moon, rising, Venus. I do them all. But somebody here... There's two people here that cannot. Mm -mm. I'm telling you. Let me see. Whoa. Okay. So, that came out. She's going quick with y'all Arius's. A message for you. I'm thinking of, wow, like I can't. Esmeralda, esta acabando con este reading. She is so into this reading. It's crazy. And she, I just heard... Somebody here, that that person that passed away that I saw in the bathroom, somebody's missing that person. It might have been a friend of somebody that you they loved you or they were in love with you or something. And they want to give you a message that they always were in love with you and you never know it. I don't know who that is for. A message of love. I'm thinking of you at this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So somebody here is madly in love with you, Arias. Well, this could be you. Madly in love with somebody. And somebody does not get off their ego, their chest, their head, their thoughts, and doesn't move. Listen, if you got somebody that loves you, that you love them, and it's not such a big chaos or drama or toxic relationship, go get it, man. Go motherfucking get it. Why not? You got an S here that I never bring out. 
This fell on the floor to a V, but I always like to see, you know, people see me do it. So it came back to an E here. You got an F here. You got a C. You got an S. You got a straight M here. You got a T. You got a straight H. You got an E here. You got repeated E's. You got another E here. <coughs> you got another C. I don't know why they told me O oh, when I said C. You got another I here. That could be an H. You got a Z here. That could be an N. You got another O here, I believe. No. I don't know why. It just I just know I don't know why O's come into my head so much. You got an E here, which that's the fourth E on the table. And you got an I here that could also be an H. So I'm gonna flip these um two E's together with this one C and see what I can get you. You got H I again. You got C, so it's very significant this C right here. And you got a T here. Okay, so I'm going to flip one of these E's that's doubled up, this C that's doubled up, this H-I that's doubled up, it's tripled up, it's four, oh my God, it's four triples. I'm going to flip um, this H-I because it's four on the table. It came back to an H-I, so it wants to stay very significant. Another H-I, I'm going to flip it. It came back to an L, all right? You got a J here, and you got a D. I would appreciate it if you press that thumbs up, people, okay? I love you. I'm going to wish you the best of luck, and I'll see you later, my loves.